Hi, welcome to day 35 of Stay at Home with Stanley. We've had a little bit of a breakthrough today. Um, so Stanley was walking really nicely and doing some nice little bit of, of lead work. Um, I'll show you a couple of things we were doing when he was really, really puppy. We did a lot of practice here in the front um, patio. Um, and then all of a sudden, he decided he didn't really like walking on a lead, collar and lead, and couldn't work out why, it was quite pulley, and I just couldn't get my head around what it was. And it was the thickness of the lead. So I love a halty training lead, and I love um, quite a good, solid, um, clippable collar. Um, but the collar that he had had quite a big metal ring on it, and I think with the tag that was on, it was making a lot of sound. I think it was quite a heavy collar. It's quite a big boy, but it was heavy. So all I've done is I've gone back to his little tiny puppy collar, which fits in really nicely, and his actually his house line, but I've put a nice little loop at the end so I can hold on to it. Um, so I'm going to order a slightly thinner, perhaps a thinner halter training lead that's more for a small puppy or a small dog, because he really doesn't like the thickness. He likes a lightweight lead. So sometimes it's worth just thinking about the equipment that you're using. I thought what we'd do today, do a little demonstration of what we're going to do about starting to teach him a little bit of heel work. Um, so there's two things you need to think about here. Firstly, that the heel position, i.e. next to your left leg, is very different to a loose lead. A loose lead is as long as the dog is not pulling you and there is no tension on that lead, the dog can be out in front and it kind of you're much more relaxed. Some people only ever walk their dog like that, fine, and some people will have a loose lead position or a cue and a heel work position. I'm going to work on a heel work today. But I'm start, going to start by showing you how we start a bit of connection so that me changing direction, he starts to realise is worth doing. Hello, you. So um, I'll show you how we'll do it. We want to be able to move and uh, keep moving. So as you change direction. So a good rule of thumb here is don't move more than three paces in any direction. So I call it kind of tipsy walking, changing direction a lot of times. Um, then what will happen is he will end up gravitating to my left side and obviously then I will reward that really well. That's my reinforcement zone. So let me show you how we do it and then I'm going to show you in a minute how he's doing with his heel work because we've just done a little practice. So let's do it this way. Here we go. So one, two, three. Yes. B. Good boy. Ooh, lovely bit of liver. One, two, three. Yes. Keep moving. And B. So I'm doing a lot of change of direction. Yes, feed. So it's yes, move, feed. Oh, where are we going? Yes, good boy. Yes, and I think you can see then I can gravitate him to come round to my left hand side. Yes, move, feed. Lovely. Okay, so just a short little demonstration. We've done quite a lot of that as he's a puppy, but we want to not always be walking in a straight line. Now, what I will then do is make sure that when I'm feeding, do you want to just do a little sit for me instead of nick my treat? Would you like to sit? You might have that. Would you? That's much better, isn't it? So what I'm going to do in part two is just show you how we're just doing it on a little cul-de-sac opposite our house. Nice and quiet. Good way for the dog to get used to some traffic, but can't hear it. And I'll just set the video up so hopefully you can see him walking kind of just around the entrance of the cul-de-sac. I'm going to reward really well for the dog being in my heel position. So I'm going to mark it and feed him in that heel position. So that's very different to what we've just done there, which is loose lead. That's just getting the dog to move in different directions. Now I'm going to be quite specific about rewarding him, as I say, on my left hand side and being really nice close to my left hand side. So I'll show you the second video in a minute, but uh, hopefully it will all make sense when we put it all together. Hello you. See you in a moment. Bye.